Uh, the X-Men reboot. Uh, this is coming to us from Daniel RPK. Apparently, Wolverine will not be in the first film. But the team is apparently pretty stacked. Like we've heard before, it's going to have most of them. X-Men 97 members. So we're talking Gambit, maybe Jubilee, Bishop, people like that who we haven't really had shine on screen yet. Well, we in some cases we have. Uh... I think we're both going to agree on this right away, is we have been saying for years, when we get an X-Men reboot, we love Wolverine. But we don't want to see Wolverine in the X-Men team. And like I say, another part of the story as well. At the start, another part of the story is as well, which we've heard before, which we've covered before, is Hugh wants to stick around for a bit longer. So it'll probably be him and Ryan doing more Deadpool and Wolverine ish things together x-men will probably be not a separate thing but it'll be a separate thing so look i love this idea i want to see these other characters shine but you know what what do you think about this Uh, a a good thing definitely uh like you said it's say it just say it before before they annoy you say it before people annoy you and get annoyed at you we love Wolverine. What? We love Wolverine. Listen, listen. If, if, right. It's pretty obvious we both love Wolverine, so I'm not going to say it. If you're going to think I hate Wolverine, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely think this is the smarter thing to do. Um, you know, it's, it gives a lot of new life to the X Men because we've, we've had, Listen, we've had so many X-Men movies. We've had so many, you know, uh, standalone Hugh Jackman with Wolverine movies as well. But the X-Men films, they kind of, you know, revolved around Wolverine's character and Hugh Jackman. So, you know, this this is a great thing. If this is true, I'm so down for it. Because from the little bits I've seen of the the new season, X-Men, was it 97? Yeah. I love it. It is Top tier. I want to see these characters on the live action screen. I want to see Cyclops being a badass. I don't want him to see him being a bitch. I want to see more Gambit because the choreography they can do and the magic and all the crazy things they can do. It'll be super cool to see. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I where I stand with it. I'm I'm yeah. I'm with it. Of course, do a Wolverine later down the line. Introduce him in what maybe this later second half of. Maybe the second one, maybe he's only got a small part, or maybe the third one, you know. But I still think going forward into the future, we will get like something where it does center around Wolverine. Yeah. Like maybe a wep- a, 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 a genuine film that's just called Weapon X, and it does feature our new, say, Wolverine and Deadpool. You know, that's that's later, later down the line yeah. kind of thing. Well, um, but yeah, this, it, this, it's great. I'm, I'm fine with it. I, I'm with you completely on this, and people might disagree. It's like, but Wolverine's part of the X-Men. Yes, he is, but all these earlier 2000 Brian Singer films all focused around Wolverine, and Wolverine got all the spin-offs, and it was always all about Wolverine. I didn't have a problem with that. I love Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, but you're facing two problems. If you start your new X-Men franchise and have a Wolverine in there, the first thing that's going to get done is the new casting is going to get compared to Hugh Jackman right away. Right away, and it's going to hold your film back so much. You need to get these new characters in there, let them shine, and earn, you know, earn the love of the fans and the audience. And then by the time we get to X-Men 3, whatever it's called, X-Men 3 Weapon X people will be ready to accept a new Wolverine. Though, some people won't, and that's fine, you know, but you got to think, we've had, what, three Spider-Men, how many other Supermen, so many Batman. <laughs> so, yeah. But this is definitely the right thing to do. As much as people don't want to believe it, it is, and it's for story purpose, it definitely is the right thing to do. Because if you get to have 
badass Cyclops and actually let him shine for a bit. Let Jean Grey shine for a bit. Let Gambit shine. Let Bishop shine. Let Beast shine. And do it. I was uh, kind of do it. Eternals, but a lot fucking better. <laughs> you know, because I'd say in Eternals, everyone's still got like their chance to, you know, shine a little bit. But yeah, just... Eternals wasn't like the Avengers films where you know I, I love all the Avengers. Woman films, Kyle. but they definitely feel like they focus on. Oh uh, yeah, yep. That it definitely. Feels oh, you go. Like they focus on three, three-ish characters. Uh, you can hear me, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's that's where I stand with it. Um, I, I definitely agree. If they can do a Eternals esque sort of film where they let all the characters shine, then that'd be great. Yeah be their own character because i love the first avengers film i love avengers age of ultron but i'd say my biggest issue with them first two films is joss didn't write the characters as too deep too in depth he wrote as an ensemble he wrote the team to all play off each other he didn't write individual characters which is what uh, the Russo brothers, and well, obviously they didn't write it, but Max and McFeely and the Russo brothers all did together so well, was having separate character moments. And yeah, they kind of needed two films for it, because it was like, well, we've done all our Cap stuff, we've done two Cap films, so let's let him have a little bit in Infinity War. His stuff will be in Endgame. But you look at Infinity War, biggest three characters in Infinity War, Thanos... Iron Man 4, all got great deep character moments. So I'd still say you need to pick your your leads of it and who you're going to centre it around. At the end of the day, it is a, it is a film. Yeah. So you're going to need a lead no matter what. And I'd definitely say if, you know, who we're saying right now, like Cyclops, definitely. Uh, yeah, uh, Cyclops is definitely number one. I'd say G- uh, maybe Jean Grey. In there, if we're going like original uh, original yeah. team, like because they're saying it's more going to be more like the X Men '97 team. So, but yeah, Cyclops, Jean, and I don't know. Would you say Professor X or Beast, or would you kind of focus more on like maybe a Magneto, so you get really in depth with a villain? I think they'll they'll. Uh, it look it Magneto, don't have to be three definitely. characters. It can be more than three characters that like really yeah. focus on. I think I think you can't have. Magneto without Charles, just they're sort of like going hand in hand yeah. when it comes to their dynamic. So definitely them two. Uh Beast, Cyclops, hundred percent, Jean Grey again, you kinda can't have Storm, Jean, you know, Cyclops Storm's without Jean a big Grey. One. Storm, yeah, of course. I just all of them, really now yeah. to this point. The fo- the main team. Look, and you I, I wanna bring Guardians of the Galaxy up again. You look at Guardians of the Galaxy, um, from volume one, volume one, all the way to volume three, and you get a character like Rocket, who's fun. He's there; everyone loves him, but you don't really see like the full picture of their story until you get to Guardians Three, and you think, "Oh fuck, this has kind of been all about not all about Rocket, but this is Rocket's story, this through line from the first one." You look at someone like uh, Hulk from Ragnarok to Endgame. They can't make a Hulk film, so their idea was, well, we'll do free, we'll do Hulk's film in three films. Now, it might not have gone the way that people wanted, but that's the way that we're looking at it. So I can see maybe we get to the end of it and we like have a, you know, a good story arc for Nightcrawler or a good story arc for Gambit, someone like that, right at the end. But yeah, look, no Wolverine, it's the right thing to do, so... And you won't tell us otherwise because we're right and we're always right. And that's just annoyed some yes. people as well. It hadn't annoyed that many people though because I don't think many people have made it to this point. <laughs> of course. Of course. Right, anything right. you want to say, Kyle? No, let's go play Space Marine. He's got, we've, we have got a gaming video coming. It's recorded. He just needs to cut it. It's coming. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's coming. So is Kyle's dad. See you later. Wow, wasn't that a great video? Would you agree, Kyle?
Yes, you should definitely give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We are now late night TV talk show hosts who say subscribe to our channel after video because we are cool. Oh, fuck yeah, that's kind of what we're doing, aren't we? Shut up, mate, just commit to it. Oh, no. no. But don't commit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right, thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>